In Onshape, you can use the draft feature to add taper to your models to support manufacturing them using a mold casting process. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in a part studio and I want to put some draft on the side surfaces of this extrude. First, I'm going to apply the draft before the fillets in the model. So I will use the rollback bar to go right above them. And there you can see the shape of the extrude. To create the draft feature, you're going to use this icon in your top toolbar. Here we have the dialog box for creating the draft. And right now we are doing neutral plane draft. And the first thing that wants to know is what is going to be our neutral plane. I will select this top surface and now we have the faces that we want to draft. I will select four of the different entities, the vertical surfaces around the part. That looks good and I've got my draft and it's going outward. You can click on the arrow here in order to have it go in the other direction. You can also drag the arrow to change the amount of draft dynamically you can see how it's changing here on the screen. Let's plug in a new value there. And here we've got tangent propagation, but we have no tangent entity, so it doesn't really matter. Here's the option to reapply a fillet. I don't have any fillets here, so that doesn't matter for this one. So for this draft, let's hit the check mark. And there you can see the resulting geometry from our first attempt. Let's select this draft feature, and then I'm going to suppress it and use the roll back bar to bring back the fillets and now we will try applying draft here once again i will click on the icon and now i'm going to select my neutral plane as before and then for the entities to draft i will just pick this one surface and you can see that it is automatically propagating to all the tangent references once again, I can use the arrow to have it go in the direction that I want and adjust the angle. Five degrees looks good. Now let's take a look at that reapply fillet option. So I want you to take a look at the fillets that we have here in the model. If I check the option to reapply the fillet, you can see how the geometry is changing shape. So we'll toggle that a few times so you can see the effect of reapplying the fillet to the draft feature. That's good for this one. Let's hit the check mark. And there you can see the end result. Now for the next one, let's say that I want to have a split in the draft. Let's select our draft feature that we just created. I'm going to suppress that one. I have a plane that I have already created. Let's show it. And I want to split the draft using this particular plane here. Well, before I am going to get into the draft feature, actually, let me show you the draft feature. Let's go into the draft feature, and I'll choose parting line, and then we can specify our pull direction. Then it wants to know the parting edges, and I don't have any edges around where I want the parting line to be. So let's cancel out of the draft feature, Instead, I can use this command here, the split command, in order to split up that surface. And when you go into the split command, you can see in the tooltip that you can either split the part or split faces. So let's choose to split. I'm going to use face. And for the faces to split, uh, let's select one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven and one more over here so i've got those eight different vertical surfaces that i'm going to split and then for the entities to split with i'm going to select that plane that i have created you can see the split line going around those different surfaces let's keep the tool surfaces option checked maybe i'm going to use that datum plane later on now i will hit the check mark I no longer need to see the plane, so I will hide it. And now we can take a look at applying our draft using the parting line. So I will click on the draft command. Let's click on parting line. 
and then I'll use this surface for the pool direction. Then for the parting edges, let's select the edges going around here. You can see the preview that we're getting of our draft. And let's see one last edge. There we go. And right now we have one sided draft. We can choose to flip it to the other side if we want to. Let me use this other handle to make it bigger so that's dramatic enough for you to see. And again, we can switch it to the other side. Oh, that's too much. Let me hit the flip button again. Uh, let's change this to a much lower value, three, and then we can try flipping it. There you can see, oh, okay, right now it's going to the outside. Let's flip it to the inside. That looks a lot better. Yeah, when it was at 10 degrees of draft, it was going off the edges of the part out into infinity. So there's one sided. Let's use the drop down list. We can choose to make it symmetric. So we have the same draft angle on both sides, or we can choose two sided where we'll have different angles on both sides. Let me drag this in here. So here we have 10 degrees on one side, five degrees on the other side. And once again, we have this option here to reapply the fillet. You can see how that is changing the resulting geometry. But what I really want is one-sided. I want the top part to remain vertical, the draft angle on the bottom. Now let's leave that at 10 degrees. Now I will hit the check line. And in that way, we have created our draft on those vertical surfaces with using that parting line. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.